Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Zay's Garage back here for another one. Today's video, we will be installing the Thinkware F200 Pro dash cam. I just picked this dash cam up a few days ago and I am super excited to have it installed. Many of you guys know I live in Boston and Boston is just a crazy place to drive. People tailgate, people hit your car when it's parked and they don't say anything about it, they don't leave you a note. It's just a very treacherous place to drive and with my F80 M3 now, I have to make sure that this car is kept safe and out of the way of all these terrible Boston drivers. So that is why we have this new Thinkware dash cam. And today we're going to install it and I'm going to review it. Um, just so you guys know, if you want to pick up a Thinkware dash cam, if you're in the United States or Canada, you can get 5% off the dash cam with the code in the description, Zay's Garage. So if you like what you see today, remember that. Let's dive into the video, guys. All right, guys, so here is the dash cam. So the dash cam here has a front and a rear camera. It includes everything you need to install the camera. It includes a cigarette lighter charger um, power cable. However, I am not going to be using that because I don't want wires hanging all over my car. Um, I'm instead going to use the Thinkware dash cam OBD2 power cable, which will allow me to draw power out of my OBD2 port in my car, which means that I can use this camera's parking functions. Okay, so if you're not familiar with that, a lot of these newer dash cams have the ability to record when your car is off. It draws power from the parts of your car that uh, still are on when um, when you leave it, like your windows uh, or something like that. Normally you would have to hire hot wire, I'm sorry, hardwire a fuse or tap into a fuse for that. But because we have this um, OBD2 power cable, we can completely skip over this part. And I can't emphasize to you enough how much time this will save because we can simply just plug it into our OBD2 port and we have the full functionality unlocked. Uh, so a little bit more about this, uh, this dash cam here. Uh, it has built-in Wi-Fi um, and I do believe that this records in 1080p and it has the ability to record very, very well at night, and it is very, very sleek and compact. Uh, as, we, uh, as we do the install, I'll show you guys what it looks like a little bit more. Um, there's one thing that I'm gonna bring with me to install my dash cam today, and that is just a little trim tool. Um, I'll put a link into the description of where you can pick up the same set that I have um, so that we can tuck the wires away so it's nice and neat, guys. So let's go on ahead and uh, head out to the car and get this done. All right, so now it is time for the fun part. So let's go on ahead and get the dash cam unboxed and the OBD2 cable unboxed as well. All right, so in the box you have your first, your front dash cam. You have your F200 Pro quick start guide and warranty. And we've got some customer service information stuff. It includes one sticky for the um, front cam, I believe. I believe this kit is for specifically if you want to hardwire um, your dash cam, tap into your fuses. That's the more difficult route. This is our rear dash cam that I will be mounting in the rear of the car. This cable right here, I believe connects the front dash cam to the rear um, dash cam so that they're both connected. Here's some extra stickies in here. Um, it, what's, what's cool is it includes a 32 gigabyte uh, SD card, so you don't have to worry about that. You know, if you want to buy extra ones, you know you can, but it's nice that they include that. Um, another some extra stickies. <laughs> more more stickies and uh, and if you want to do the option of you know the the cigarette lighter um, power source um, they include that as well as I talked about earlier so 
Um, we're not going to use that, but it's nice to know that we have it in the future. Maybe, you know, donate this to somebody. So to get us started, I am going to mount the cameras and try and uh, get them in the perfect spot first before we do um, all the other stuff. I want to be able to test out the video before I stick it because um, it would, would really suck if uh, I sticked it and it was crooked. So let's go on ahead and do that. I'm gonna switch over to my GoPro head cam so that this is a little bit easier to follow what I'm doing with the install. All right, so to get started here, I'm gonna take the um, cigarette lighter adapter here and I'm gonna plug it into my port here because I wanna draw power just so that we can test fit the location of our front cam. All right, we'll plug it into our cigarette lighter down here. Turn the car on, unwrap our uh, dash cam here. All right, we'll plug it in. And then next, I believe it's gonna ask for you to put in a micro um, SD card. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert that. Memory card ejected. System will restart. There we go. I'm gonna slide the little mount that they provide on here. This is really cool how it just kind of slides on there and then it clicks. And then I believe you can, you can adjust this by uh, screwing it in or unscrewing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little test here. So in my case, I'll probably wanna put it like right underneath um, my, um, right underneath my mirror here because there's a whole lot of plastic and kind of electronics here in the F80 and F30 cars or whatever type of, you know, chassis a BMW have. So, this is probably a good place to test fit and see if it works well. So I'm gonna go on ahead and enable the Wi-Fi on the dash cam and see um, and see how it looks. All right, cool. So what's cool here is it, I don't know if you can see it through my GoPro, but um, it allows you, it gives you some guidance lines that you can use to kind of test fit. So the line of blue, the blue one with uh, the center of center of the hood. All right. See, this is why you. This is why it's really important to test foot this thing. All right. So the green line should be aligned with the center of the hood. So I. I All right. Just need to adjust it a little bit. So I'm gonna go on ahead and remove the sticker because this is gonna help me align it the best way possible. All right, I think that's a good place for it. So the front camera is now mounted. You know, what's cool is the app gives you a, a little bit of a guide here so that you can uh, so that you can see how to mount it properly. That was super helpful to help me center it against the hood and um, the top of the, 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 over the top of the, the, the front hood there. So now we're going to work on the back here. Let's see how that goes. All right. So I'm going to get the cable for the connection to the, the back to the front. I'm sorry, the front to the back. Um, we're going to test fit the rear camera and make sure that it's up to snuff with this cord right here. It's plenty long enough to get to the, from here to the front later on we're going to tuck uh the wires through here and up around and around the car so that it's nice and tidy and clean but let's go ahead and mount the back camera so if you want to connect the rear one to the front one you just come around here and i hope you guys can see this my gopro has been really problematic this whole entire time so my apology going ahead and plug that right in there and that should get us connected to the rear cam, which is in this baggie right here. I'm so sorry, guys, if you can't see this. I'm really, my, my GoPro's been causing me troubles this whole entire time. Now go on ahead and plug it in here. And let's go on. Oh, there we go. 
there we go so i'm going to go on ahead and try and mount this back here with my smartphone here and make sure that i get a good mounting angle so i'll see you guys in the back okay so now i have the uh, rear camera here it's uh connected to the wi-fi and now i am ready to go on ahead and try and mount so now that i have my phone here i can uh, excuse the mess back here because it's really terrible now that i have this right here to use as a mountain point man i'm really entirely too tall for this car um all right i can flip it up here uh let's see here horizontal this is upside down that's nah, got to be the right way so a couple things to note with this the f uh the f series cars you might have to mount your dash cam a little bit up higher than where the the brake light is so that on here you can actually see where so that it actually makes sense from 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 this angle here so you can actually see things you want to mount it up pretty as, as high as you can here so that you can get a clear uh, view of what's behind you. So just note uh, for installation. So I've started to tuck in the wires here. Hopefully you can see this, but uh, all I'm doing really is just kind of feeding the wire along in here. This is why this tool right here is so super handy because I was able to just feed it right through there. Easy as pie. And we're gonna continue to come across here. And tuck it in here. Ah, this isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. All right, so I sorted that out. Now let's get it in here. So what's super nice is it just goes right into the weather stripping here. So I'm catching a break there. Super, super easy. <sighs> All right, so we made it to the back here. It's pretty simple. Continue to stick it in the weather strip in here. There's <sighs> <sighs> a lot of residual cord left. I have to figure out how to bundle this. A <sighs> little bit of cord hanging out here, but you know what? I mean, truthfully, who's really gonna notice that? all right so i gotta get it to come around this part right here which may be just a little tough but we'll see what i can do i have a lot of residual cord here left, so i'm gonna try and sort this out before this was pretty straightforward to wire it up guys nothing horrible um it just takes a little bit of persistence you know um nothing 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 crazy all right, so the rear camera is installed. The cords, as you can see, kind of run out. I don't really know what to do about that since the cord is so like long. I didn't think that the think that the cord would be that long. So I guess we're just gonna have to work with this until I figure out another like way to clean it up. But it doesn't really bother me. The important thing is that we're running the dash cam right now. So okay so we're running out of daylight so i'm not going to be super super detailed with this part but you know we got the the back camera wired all up now you can see it back there um the last thing we need to do is stop using my uh cigarette lighter here and we need to actually use the obd power cable that this uh kit came with so that i could run power from it so i'm gonna Run the power, run the cord from here um, across down and down to here. Um, I'm not gonna go super, super detailed in that because it's gonna get dark soon. But it, it's a fairly straightforward process, just like what we did on the other side. So let's go on ahead and do that. Well, BMW U UBD two ports are real fun because they're tucked. They're really tucked nicely underneath here. You gotta really like search to find them, but um, this should uh should be somewhere underneath here you gotta feel around for it yeah aha the, the the thing that makes them tough is they're they're up inside the the dash so that what makes it tough so all right we got it in there now we're gonna try and wire this bad boy nice and clean across my uh my headliner so that 
um, we have power to the dash cam for the parking mode. All right, guys, as you can see, the dash cam is fully connected as well as the one in the back there. Um, I ran the, the cable up from the OBD2 port and I tucked it into the weather uh, stripping here. Um, and it looks pretty good, ran it across here. It provided like a little bit more wire than I probably needed, but luckily there's so much there's so much give between here, um, the, the headliner and the windshield that you can just, just tuck it right in there, all the extra wire. So it's not really a big, super big deal, but uh, it's all taken care of. It's all done. On the install, I'd probably have to say a four or a five out of 10. There were some, um, some little annoyances that really made what you, know, what you think would be simple um, kind of difficult like you know the cord being longer than you thought it uh would be which is good because you need that that you need the cord um for cars that may be a little bit bigger but at the same time this kit um, provides everything that you need um my initial impressions is that the app is a little bit finicky because every time i want to use the wi-fi to check out to, to check out um, some of the footage it constantly drops in and out and that honestly make the made the process of installing it um, a little bit longer than I would like but uh, nonetheless uh, I got having everything in here nice and tucked away is great like I'm glad I have a dash cam um, I'm gonna try next to enable the parking mode so this is where you can enable um, parking mode and I'm gonna put parking mode in motion detection so that every time somebody if somebody bumps the car or the or the camera sees something moves it will trigger um, to start recording okay it disconnected again you guys can see what I mean by that so that is the main feature that I wanted to use this camera for it's gonna be so so helpful here in Boston um, my next goal here is to get you guys some footage of daytime and nighttime i mean it's already night here so i could probably get you some of that footage now um, but super excited to have the dash cam installed it's pretty cool uh, i really dig it um think we're made a pretty good product here yes it has its kinks but um this is a very affordable dash cam that most people can get their hands on for a very good price the price of the dash cam um, I believe for the bundle is $199.99, um, which is a really good price compared to some other dash cams out there that could cost you, you know, upwards to $500. And the quality that you get and 1080p resolution and the great nighttime footage is pretty good with this camera. So I am sponsored by Thinkware. They did uh, sponsor this video and this dash cam, um, but I'm still giving you guys my open review of it and. Overall, it has, like I said before, it has its kinks, but it is a pretty good product. But let's see the footage, um, daytime and nighttime, and then we can come to a close here. All right, guys, so I've been driving around with the Thinkware F200 Pro dash cam for a while now, and I will say that some of the thoughts that I gave you during my install was a little bit premature. I was a little bit grumpy because of how much time that I had been spending in the car trying to get all the wires and everything put together. Um, and I will say that thus far, this has been a very, very um, impressive dash cam. Um, I'm gonna put up some footage here of day and night uh, that you can see. You can see that the day footage is very crisp. It is very clear. The night footage is also very clear too. Sometimes at night, you do get the blurring of the lights because they're so bright, but otherwise, you know, I haven't had um, too many problems with it. Um, there also are a ton of helpful features when you get into the car. Um, the dash cam actually greets you and tells you what has happened in parking mode since the last time you entered into the car. And it'll tell you how many times it detected motions, it'll to tell you if it detected an incident, a lot of helpful information because um, in order to be able to check the footage, you have to go into the app 
and figure out, you know, look through the footage and figure out what happened. So it makes it really easy to know right from the get go um, what happened. Another cool thing that it does is it, it beeps when you hit a bump and it's very, very sensitive. I think that you can adjust those in the settings, but the roads are incredibly rough here in Boston. So I, it almost beeps every time I drive or I hit a pothole. Um, that is one thing that can be a little bit frustrating, but I understand, you know, how valuable that is. I will say that the app is pretty easy to use. I complained earlier that there were some Wi-Fi issues, but that was because this the application, uh, use, the dash cam actually uses Wi-Fi to connect into your phone. Um, and I have wireless Apple CarPlay on my M3 competition, so it is having a constant disagreement with that. When I disabled uh, wireless CarPlay, it worked a lot better and I had no problems. Once you're on the app, it's very easy to use. It's easy to download footage. The only thing about the footage is you cannot really scroll through the footage to see, say, you know, something happened 10 seconds in, you can't really fast forward or rewind. That's one thing I wish they would improve with this. Um, but other than that, it's easy to adjust the settings. It's a very clear, simple app. I don't really have any connection issues. So I really enjoy that part. All right, so another thing that I had issues with was the wire fitment in the back. Um, as you remember before, I had the wires just going one way and another because I couldn't figure out what to do with that huge bundle of wires that I had before. But um, I'll show you here. So I actually found a solution to that and I found a way to run the wires um, nice and clear, clean. There's no wires going here. I didn't tuck them underneath the seats either. Um, so that part was not as difficult as I thought it was gonna be. So with that, those are like my main thoughts on the dash cam. Um, I highly recommend it to you guys. Um, it's really compact. Um, it really gives me that great extra protection driving around in Boston because everybody know, doesn't know how to drive around here. And you know, it's really a steal for 199 getting the front and rear dash cam. Also not having a hot wire or anything with that OBD2 cord. So anyways guys, if you guys wanna pick one up, and I said this earlier in the video, you can get one 5% off. I'll put the link in the description um, with the promo code Zay's Garage. Um, I highly recommend that you pick it up. Let me know what you think about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.